Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 45th graduation exercises of the House staff for academic year 2021 to 2022. To maintain the solemnity of this celebration, please mute your microphone for the duration of the event. These are the graduating residents and subspecialty fellows in the training programs of the Philippine Heart Center for 2021-2022. We will now have the invocation by Father Marvin Royeras. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you today as we witness the graduation ceremony of our dear doctors. We pray for them and we lift them before you, O Lord. They are a gift to this institution and to many people. We ask you to make their way clear and faith firm as reminders that you are with them always. As you have called them, O Lord, to study and practice the art of healing the sick and prevention of the disease and pain, strengthen their mind, body, and soul, and bless their work so that they could give comfort to the pain and suffering of the sick. Grant them, Lord, your wisdom and give them clear vision in order for them to carry the things they needed as doctors and to provide the best care and interest of their patients. In the day or in their daily course of duty, their zeal might be as its lowest and tiredness meets them in every turn. May they find a healing and comforting hands in you, O Lord. May you become their healer that helps them regain their joy and vigor in serving and healing the sick. All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us put our right hand on our left chest for the Philippine National Anthem. This will be followed by the PHC hymn. Thank you. 
Good morning, Dr. Fernando Ayuyao, Dr. Joel Abanilia, our dear Deputy Executive Directors, Department Heads, Faculty, Graduates, Family, and Friends. Welcome to the 45th Graduation Exercises of the Philippine Heart Center. I am Dr. Myra Tan de los Reyes, and I'll be one of your hosts for today. I am Dr. Jets Marion Cruz, it is an honor to be here on this special event, the high point of each academic year. Today, we celebrate the accomplishments and achievements of our trainees. Every year, we look forward to this momentous occasion to recognize the hard work of our trainees, the guidance of the trainers, the support of the hospital administration, and the care of our loved ones. To formally begin the program, May we call on our Executive Director, Dr. Joel M. Abanilia, for the welcome remarks. Morning, uh, everyone. Our keynote speaker, Dr. Fernando Ayuyao, uh, graduates, uh, parents, and the house staff and faculty members of the Philippine Heart Center. Good morning. Uh, expressing my felicitations and appreciation to our dear house staff on our 45th graduation exercises for academic year 2021 and 2022, I am elated to see you here to share with you this marvelous moment. Describing the year that was as challenging is merely an understatement. Rather, it has been a battle for all of you who have been in the front line in the time of COVID-19 pandemic. Like gold, you all have been refined to perfection in the furnace as you went to extensive knowledge in reaching an experienced based learning journey. Hence, this year's theme, Pagpupursigi at Pagbangon sa Panahon ng Pandemia. With hearts that are explicitly showed, uh, that has explicitly showed courage you have set aside fears and personal struggles and has responded beyond the call of duty. You have met uncertainty with sheer determination and confidence as frontliners in the battlefield, in the war against the pandemic. You bear the mark of a true warrior, valiant, and the time of health crisis. As proud mentors, we have passed on the knowledge and expertise in the field of cardiovascular healthcare. With a life of purpose, 
we have seen your renewed passion to give your best in your field of expertise. The values that you have developed have made you strong and resilient in these unprecedented times. Now you are set to embark on another journey and take a bigger responsibility. You are the warriors who have completed your education and trainings with the entire world was struggling during this health crisis. In spite of this, you made it this far. Humbled by this life learning experience, you fought through and remained committed to your calling as a doctor. I commend the best efforts of the education, training, and research services under the leadership of Deputy Executive Director Dr. Gilbert C. Belela and Department Managers of Education and Training Dr. Teresa Abola and Ranolfo B. Habilosa. I am most grateful to all of you who were instruments of excellent education and training that is aligned with the Philippine Heart Center's vision. Through the years, the ETRS program for the house top continues to elevate its standards because of the people who have contributed their very best to share and care nourished, equipped, empowered, and committed. These are the genuine characteristics of all those who have been part of this enriching journey. Philippine Heart Center takes pride on our homegrown best, our graduates. These young and promising individuals are now equipped and enhanced knowledge, skills, and attitude that true warriors who will ensure our health security of our country. Congratulations to you, our dear graduates, our frontliners, our health warriors. Thank you, Dr. Abanilia. Dr. Gilbert Valella, our Deputy Executive Director for Education, training and research services will now give his message for this commencement ceremony. Good morning to the officers of the Philippine Heart Center and the guest speaker who will be properly in introduced later. Again, a very pleasant good morning to everyone. My dear graduates, to those of you who are still asking the question, what on earth am I here for? Siguro naman by then, by now pala. Alam nyo na ang sagot sa question na yun. These past three years as you've been spending time inside the hospital grounds, taking care of patients, sacrificing your own safety for the benefit of others, alam kong alam nyo na ang sagot so what on earth am I here for? Hindi basta-basta yung sinuong nating lahat simula nung pumutok ang pandemic nung 2020. And you were first years during then, during that time in 2020. Hindi pwedeng lalagpas ang pandemic era. Hindi pwedeng palampasin ang experience na yon without reflecting on what happened and what you learned from those experiences. Kasi walang wisdom na, ta na makukuha kung walang reflections. Wisdom will come from reflecting on the past experiences. Otherwise, we are up parang uulitin lang natin ang mga mistakes natin, yung mga kukakulangan natin before. You were accepted here at the Philippine Heart Center not just to be introduced to excellent science, 
Oh no, more than that. You're accepted here because of your character. Niyo mo napansin? We took your grades, we gave you interviews, we gave you exams. But more importantly, what did you undergo? You had an audition, pre-residency, pre-fellowship program. So, tinignan namin kung anong karakter ninyo. Are you compassionate enough to take care of your fellow Filipinos? Are you kind enough to be there for them? Those two things are more important than the minimum requirement of grades and examination scores. Why? Because your kindness and compassion will make you different from the rest. You are not here to be just pulmonologist, cardiologist, radiologist, pathologist, surgeon. No. You're here to make difference, to make a difference on people's lives. Because being a doctor, intelligence is already a given. Smartness is already a given. But the heart is not. Tayong lahat na nandito sa heart center ay tinawag na maglingkod. And I know nung tinanggap namin kayo, you're those persons na makakasama namin sa journey ng paglilingkod sa kapwa. Kung tatanong yung ibang uh, tao o ibang profesyon, iba ang kanilang pangarap sa buhay. Pero pag doktor ka, ano ba ang pangarap mo sa buhay? Di ba maglingkod? Hindi naman mag- magpakasaya. Happiness. No. Being a physician is to serve. Maglingkod. To make a difference in people's lives. Yun ang kakaibahan natin sa, sa ibang profesyon at sa ibang tao. At yun ini-emphasize namin dito sa Heart Center. And I know you got it. I know you got it. Because you were able to pass through the training program and the culture of the Philippine Heart Center. So ngayon, aalis na kayo. We'd like to assure you that you are equipped both with science and heart to serve, to serve very well and to make a difference in people's lives. You do not need money, in fact. No. You don't need, you don't need a hospital or a grand new mansion or a brand new car to make a difference in people's lives. No. You only need to care to be there for them when they need you most. Money, income, it will come. I promise you. But humaneness is for you to develop. So, my dear graduates, kalakip ng aking pagpapaalam sa inyo sa paglabas nyo sa apat na walls ng Heart Center ay ang aming panalangin na sana mahanap nyo ang inyong sarili at maging matagumpay kayo sa inyong practice. Again, congratulations and good luck. Thank you, Dr. Villela. Now, may we please welcome Dr. Maria Bridget D. Fernandez, the Division Chief of Training, to introduce our honored guest speaker. Our distinguished speaker for today is a product of the Far Eastern University College of Medicine, where he also took his residency training in internal medicine. His love for further training saw him being part of the Pulmonary Medicine Fellowship Program at this institution, the Philippine Heart Center. He further specialized in pulmonary and critical care medicine, also from this institution. Our guest speaker has always been a leader and an inspiration to his colleagues. He previously headed the Philippine College of Physician as its president, as well as the Philippine College of Chess Physician, and is now an active member of both societies. 
he added, he also headed other pulmonary units as well, including the Quirino Memorial Medical Center and the Philippine International Hospital, and of course, the Philippine Heart Center. Being a teacher completes the profile of our speaker. He is active in the training of the pulmonary medicine fellows, as well as students and residents from the New Era College of Medicine, where he holds the position of chairman of the Department of Medicine. He is also a very active in the specialty boards of both PCP and PCCP. This numerous involvement of our speaker has been recognized by the different awards he got from these uh, different institutions. So ladies and gentlemen, colleagues, parents and guests, it is with extreme pride and honor to present our graduation speaker, Dr. Fernando Ayuyao. Good morning. It was with great honor to be a speaker on the 45th year commencement exercises of the House staff of the Philippine Heart Center. Dr. Joel M. Abanilla, Executive Director. Dr. Gerardo S. Manzo, Deputy Executive Director, Medical Services. Josephine M. Guillermo Lopez, Dep Deputy Executive Director, Hospital Support Services. Dr. Gilbert C. Vilela, Deputy Executive Director, Education, Training and Research Services. Dr. Giselle M. Galang, Deputy Executive Director, Nursing Services. Department Managers, Division Chiefs, Training Officers, Medical Staffs, House Staffs, other personals of the Philippine Heart Center, parents, spouses, children, and most especially, you graduates. The title of my talk this morning is about hope, faith, and courage, the, essential, the grand essentials in life. Life for each one of us has changed tremendously in the past two years. As Pope Francis said in his prayer, that the world has stopped walking for a while, forcibly silencing the noise that we have all created among us. That, however, was not how it was felt in the medical community. What used to be our small place in the sun was the worst hit by the pandemic. Emergency rooms overflowed with the sick and the dying, while there were more other in the makeshift treatment rooms outside waiting to be admitted, at least in the hospital hallways. Ambulance bring in more to the point that the hospitals literally beg everyone to hold off, even only for a short time. Even the morgue, that was once a place of tranquility and solitude, was disturbed as black bags bearing the dead come and go. It was like that horrible scene in scientific fiction movie, except that it was you who were in the scene. And that amidst of chaos, few brave and constant figures remain. You, the doctors, colleagues, you are called the health warriors, toted as the modern-day heroes, like the Avengers, if I may say. These are you, doctors, nurses, and other personnel of the hospital who were firm and decisive in their roles, stepping up to ease the discomfort of those who suffer, and mindful of the real threat they were exposing themselves to. Geared in what looked like an astronaut outfit, you see, see them hurriedly packing, pace, pacing back and forth. Amongst the ones hooked to a mechanical ventilators, those needing high flow oxygen, or even those requiring a tablet of paracetamol just to dissipate the heat of a peperous body. What seems to be the motivating force continues to bring you here, the hospital, day and night. Other than having the best training program, 
in cardiothoracic pulmonary and allied medicines is beyond understanding by a layman's point of view. They think it's even outside the realm of reality at times. This I found to be in line of our great profession. While all others clump up because of fear of getting beaten down by the enemy, you, you stood your ground to be of service to those who need care and compassion. Not only did you demonstrate in your heart and body, you made sure that your mind was equally adept and relevant during these uncertain times. It is a fact that initially we, all of us, lack knowledge to forge the battle with this unseen enemy, but you never failed to open the depths of your mind to a greater understanding of combating the plague. You imbibe medical information left and right, scrutinize one of them, each one of them, and choose the one that is best for your patients and hope against hope that these new strategies would undo much of the damage and dysfunction to your patient. You never faltered with the appearance of this new virus, whether it be called Delta or Omicron. Without batting an eyelash, you dealt with them head on because you were armed with faith and the purest of intention to heal and lessen the suffering. You displayed commitment never to leave anyone behind, especially looking after your colleagues up to the very last moment when they finally leave their earthly body. On a personal note, I would like to thank you for taking care of me for 47 days in this institution. Of course, I did not leave this earthly body, earthly body. That's why I'm still speaking in front of you. You never abandoned the sacred promise, your oath of Hippocrates, the practice of art, of medicine, with righteousness and honor, doing everything to the best of your ability. Best of all, you never stop believing, trusting, and surrendering to one supreme creator who made you human surrogate of his divine and healing grace. In the end, you start asking yourself, what is it that makes one get up every morning doing these things over and over again every single day? I'd say this is because you found your purpose in life. It is what each one of us longs for. As Leo Rosten wrote, the purpose of one's life is not to be happy, but to matter, to be productive, to be useful, to have it make some difference that you live at all. You made it this far, and I know that deep in my heart, you will prevail in God's grace. Let your courage propel you to greater heights as you have taken and still taking the way to a long, narrow, and less troubled path. Still go ahead, even at times you don't have the strength and courage to do so. Go on, move on, shape your destiny to bright and great future. The administration, medical staff, house staff, and other personnel of the personnel of this great institution have honed you to be the best that you can be. All the knowledge, skills, expertise, and other necessary tools are now with you on a very promising practice. When you came to this institution, you were like an ordinary rough stone. Through the months and years that you stayed at the Philippine Heart Center, the members of the medical staff, your colleagues as house staff, and allied personnel 
tried to curve and chisel you to make you into a fine sculpture or structure. It's up to you graduates to make this fine gem more refined and more uh, shining. As you leave the portals of this institution and go to the different parts of the Philippine archipelago, carry the torch of your alma mater. Carry the torch of the Philippine Heart Center with pride and dignity. Let me end this talk with a story that describes most of us and the challenges we face. The story goes like this. The daughter complained to her father that life was miserable and did not know how she can make it. She was too tired of fighting and struggling all the time. It seems that one problem is solved, another one soon followed. Her father, a chef, took her to the kitchen. He filled three pots with water and placed each up on high fire. Once the three pots started to boil, he placed potatoes in one pot, eggs on the second pot, and ground coffee beans on the third pot. After 20 minutes, he turned off the burner. He took the potatoes and placed them in a took the potatoes from the pot and placed them in, in a bowl, pulled the eggs out and pu put them in another bowl and lathered the cup of coffee into a cup. Turning to her, to the child, or the, he asked, daughter, what do you see? Is potatoes, eggs, coffee, she hastily replied. Look closer, I said the father, and touched the potatoes. She did and noticed that they were soft. And then asked her to take an egg and break it. After pulling off the shell, she observed the hard-boiled eggs. Finally, he asked her to sip the coffee. Its rich aroma brought a smile onto her face. Father, what does this mean? She asked. He explained that the potatoes, eggs, and coffee beans had each faced the same adversity, the boiling water. Each one, however, reacted differently. The potatoes went in strong, hard, and unrelating, but in the boiling water, it became soft and weak. The egg on that matter was fragile, with a thin outer shell protecting its liquid interior until it was put in the boiling water. Then the inside of the egg became hard. Finally, the ground coffee beans were unique, such that after they were exposed to the boiling water, they changed the water and created something new. Colleagues, be a coffee. I know you are. Give light to your patients, to your constituents, to your family when you go to your own community. Start new and create some, create some changes which will, will be very effective in the area that you are going to practice. Oprah Winfrey said that there is no greater gift you can give or receive than to honor your calling. It is why you were born and how you become most truly alive. A cup of coffee, please. Thank you and good morning. Congratulations, graduates of the Philippine Heart Center 2022. With that As a sign of gratitude, the Philippine Heart Center will be giving a token to Dr. Ayuyao for gracing this momentous event. This sculpture was created by our very own Dr. William Chua. We will now proceed to the presentation of the graduating batch of academic year 2021-2022. Our graduates will be receiving their certificates of graduation to symbolize their accomplishing the required training 
for their chosen specialty and subspecialty here in the Philippine Heart Center. Aside from the certificates, the graduates will also be vested on special lace made specially for Philippine Heart Center. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the story of the Philippine Heart Center Sablay. Ang sablay. Ang makulog ang sablay na igagawad sa inyo ay yari sa pulang husi na sumasagisag sa kadalisayan ng propesyon ng isang manggagamot. Ito ay kulay ng dugong dumadaloy sa nag-aalag na pusong handang maglingkod sa kapwa. Nakahabi dito ang gintong sinulid, hawi sa bukal na kalooban ng isang manggagamot. Maaaninag din dito ang makukulay na burda ng pangkat etniko ng Pilipinas na sumasagisag sa pantay-pantay na pagtingin ng institusyon na ito sa lahat ng Pilipino anuman ang estado sa buhay. Ang medalyon na nasa gitna ay hugis bilog at kawa sa tanso na sagisag sa taglay na talino at galing ng bawat manggagamot na produkto ng institusyon nito. Sa pagkakataong ito, Ginagawad ng Philippine Heart Center sa inyong mga balikat ang sablay na hindi lamang isang sagisag ng karangalan, kundi ito ang umpisa ng pagsusuko sa inyo bilang mga manggagamot na may tungkulin sa lumikha, pamilya at kapwa. We will now be moving on to presenting the graduating fellows and residents for the academic year 2021-2022. These trainees completed their requirements for graduation as of March 31, 2022. They are now the proud graduates of Philippine Heart Center Batch 2022. And with that, may we now ask Dr. Maria Bridget Donato Fernandez, the Division Chief of Training, to present the graduating fellows and residents for the academic year 2021 to 2022. Dr. Abanilla, our Deputy Executive Directors, it is with great pride to present to you the 88 graduating fellows and residents of the academic year 2021 and 2022. These trainees completed the requirements for graduation as of March 31, 2022. They are now the proud graduates of Philippine Heart Center Batch 2022. The graduates of the Subspecialty Fellowship Training in Adult Invasive Cardiology, Dr. Anna Katrina N. Chua, Dr. Jasper Val Ian M. Pablo, Dr. Carlo Dominic L. Pangui, Dr. Teo J. T. Santi III, The graduates of the Subspecialty Fellowship Training in Adult Non-Invasive Cardiology, Dr. Catherine P. Catalunya, Dr. Anna Katrina C. Longos, Dr. Vince Ryan V. Munoz, Dr. Margaret B. Rosette, Dr. Romeli M. Tuplano, Dr. Lawrence M. Velilia. The graduates of the Subspecialty Fellowship Training in Vascular Medicine, Dr. Kevin Archie M. Ramos. The lone graduate of the Subspecialty Fellowship Training in Electrophysiology, Dr. Joseph Jasper S. Acosta. The graduates of the Subspecialty Fellowship Training in Critical Care Medicine, Dr. Mary Rose Ann E. Lacanin, Dr. Timothy Bjorn M. Lagos, Dr. Marion D. Patricio, Dr. Joyce Carla S. Suero, 
Dr. Anthony Earl C. Uy. The lone graduate of the Subspecialty Fellowship Training in Cardiac Rehabilitation Medicine. Dr. Catherine Marie S. Bagisi. The graduates of the Fellowship Training in Adult Cardiology. Dr. Ralph Alan D. Aguinaldo. Dr. Dana Zoraida Lynn B. Ali. Dr. Miguel Angelo D. Angco. Dr. Jemilyn V. Bandilio. Dr. Adrian Patrick P. Kalimag. Dr. Kalsmer Christian L. Chiong. Dr. Clarice E. Cledera. Dr. Ray Adam B. Cordoves. Dr. Angelica Jem B. Dagandara Dr. Janine K. A. De La Paz Dr. Rachel Ann W. Danila Dr. Renato B. Gradgeda Jr. Dr. Paul Aldrin Y. Hung Dr. Aslia Y. Lampa Dr. Reynaldo C. Lazo Jr. Dr. Larissa Camille C. Manapat Dr. Rona Barbie O. Mendoza Dr. Donald C. Palma Dr. Vina Florentina P. Palmero Dr. Maria Francesca C. Kiambao Dr. Hazeline Joyce G. Ramos Dr. Kathleen A. Rivera Dr. Jerome Joseph T. Siozon Dr. Juceres Maria B. Sulit Dr. Wilbert B. Tarun Dr. Fanny Marian P. Uy Dr. Jason Ruben S. Yuhon the lone graduate of Subspecialty Fellowship Training in Invasive Pediatric Cardiology. Dr. Christine Ann F. Paguntalan. The graduate of Subspecialty Fellowship Training in Non-Invasive Pediatric Cardiology. Dr. Maricel Janice G. De Guzman. Dr. Marie Grace J. Garcia. The graduates of Fellowship Training in Pediatric Cardiology Dr. Christine May Bien V. Buhat Dr. Rochelle R. Pamaran Dr. Jenna Angela D. Rubio The graduates of Fellowship Training in Surgery and Anesthesia Dr. Lex Christopher P. Andaya Dr. Paul Martin M. Garcia Dr. Carl Derrick O. Sia Dr. Faranaz A. Inawat Abdul Majid The graduates of the Fellowship Training in Cardiovascular Anesthesia Dr. Angelica L. Bukag Dr. Camille L. Gotamco Dr. Joanna Marie D. Rayos del Sol Dr. Mary Ann M. Sanchez The graduates of Subspecialty Fellowship Training in Adult Pulmonary and Critical Care Medicine and Pulmonary Intervention Dr. Mark Christian Agase Dr. Kristen Yvette Huico The lone graduate of Subspecialty Fellowship Training in Pulmonary Rehabilitation Dr. Maria Estrella Soledad J. Rojas The graduates of the Subspecialty Training in Sleep Medicine 
Dr. Eden M. Castro, Dr. Frins Andrew M. De La Cruz, Dr. Samantha Faye M. Padilla. The graduates of Fellowship Training in Adult Pulmonology, Dr. Kelvin Mar O. Bartolome, Dr. Nico Jan A. Dalesay, Dr. Christine Gail A. C., Dr. Catherine Joy R. Tubig. The graduates of Subspecialty Fellowship Training in Pediatric Pulmonary and Critical Care, Dr. Arian O. Sbeya, Dr. Krista Ann B. Esmael, Dr. Edmund Anthony R. Sumayod. The lone graduate of Subspecialty Fellowship Training in Pediatric Sleep Medicine, Dr. Shanta Carlene B. Magalit. The lone graduate of Fellowship Training in Interventional Radiology, Dr. Marco C. Santiago. The graduates of Subspecialty Fellowship Training in CT Scan and MRI, Dr. Rencel D.C. Faustino Baliares, Dr. Eileen V. Peña, Dr. Gregory Dave R. Taverner, Dr. Feliz Pamela P. Vasquez. The graduate of Subspecialty Fellowship in Ultrasound, Dr. Eva Marie M. Crismundo, Dr. Nikki Luis M. Medina. The graduates of Residency Training in General and Cardiovascular Radiologic Sciences, Dr. Anton Lorenzo I. Gutierrez, Dr. Jose Nino G. Opulencia, Dr. Rafael Joseph C. Villarica. The lone graduate of Fellowship Training in Cardiovascular Pathology, Dr. Glenn Nathaniel Valioso. The lone graduate of Residency Training in Laboratory Medicine, Dr. Franz Jobert L. Sebastian. The lone graduate of Residency Training in Nuclear Medicine, Dr. Bettina Carmel B. Texon. Thank you, Dr. Maria Bridget Fernandez. May we now call on Dr. Alexander Tuazon, the Division Chief of Clinical Trial and Research, to call the awardees. Good morning. First of all, I would like to congratulate all the graduates, their mentors, their loved ones, and parents for a job well done. This event will not be complete without recognizing the efforts of the graduates over and above their duties as chief fellows and chief presidents of the various specialty training programs. Please come up the stage as I call your name. From the Department of Adult Cardiology, Dr. Rachel Ann Denila. Dr. Adrian Patrick Kaliman. From the Department of Pediatric Cardiology, Dr. Rochelle Pamaran. Dr. Jenna Angela Rubio. From the Division of Pulmonary Medicine, Adult Pulmonary Section, Dr. Christine Yvette Huico. Dr. Kelvin Mar Bartolome. From the Pediatric Pulmonary Section, Dr. Arian Bea, Dr. Edmund Anthony Sumayod. From the Department of Surgery and Anesthesia, Dr. Carl Derek Sia. 
From the Division of Cardiovascular Anesthesia, Dr. Joanna Marie Rayos del Sol, Dr. Angelica Bukag, and Dr. Camille Gotamco. From the Cardiovascular Radiological Science Division, Chief Fellow was Dr. Eileen Peña. The Chief Residents are Dr. Rafael Joseph Villarica and Dr. Anton Lorenzo Gutierrez. From the Laboratory Medicine Division, Chief Residents are Dr. Franz Jobert Sebastian and Dr. Glenn Nathaniel Valioso. And from the Nuclear Medicine Division, Chief Resident was Dr. Bettina Carmel Texon. Congratulations and thank you to all of you. As the graduates of the Philippine Heart Center training programs, a big responsibility is now bestowed upon you. We would now like to ask Dr. Gerardo S. Manzo to speak on the challenges to the graduates. Congratulations to the 2022 Philippine Heart Center graduating fellows and residents. Unlike past years when promotions and graduations were laid down in a fairly predictable timeline, your batch was mercilessly hostage by a completely unexpected adversary at the end of your first year of training. You were all part of our frontliners, forced to battle without knowing where the enemy was until you were in the same room, without a proven battle plan, without any assurance that reinforcements, new first year fellows were coming. You all held your ground, gallantly protecting the Philippine Heart Center, our patients, and our healthcare workers. Most of you went on seven days straight duties followed by seven days quarantine with no options for real rest and recreation. Today, April 8th, we celebrate your triumph against all the fear and uncertainties and literal deaths during the COVID pandemic. And thankfully, not the surrender of bloodied but unbowed heroes whom we commemorate in the fall of Pataan tomorrow, April 9. There are many insights for all of us from these past two turbulent years. At the onslaught when fear of the unknown was greatest, our shared realization could have been carpe diem, seize the present, trust tomorrow even as little as you may know. You were forced to learn from fewer patients, but help heal as many as you can. And we just forged on together. At the height of despair, when all around us, family and friends succumbed, we could have taken comfort that the Lord declared, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Faith sustained many of us who believe that there is a reason for all this suffering. And now that we know that we can live amidst this formidable, invisible threat, make the most of the rest of your personal lives and professional careers. Never take your loved ones for granted. Never take advantage of the misery of your patients. If you keep on looking at the dark clouds of uncertainty, you may not have time to enjoy the sunshine. Mother Teresa, who lived her entire life helping heal broken bodies and spirits, believed, be happy in the moment, that's enough. Each moment is all we need, not more. May God guide you and bless you and protect us all. Congratulations, Patch 2022. Thank you, Dr. Manzo. Our graduates have now received their certificates of successful completion of their training here at Philippine Heart Center. The next step is to step out into the real world and practice what the, our institution has taught you. At this point, let us listen to Dr. Maria Francesca Kiambao, the president of FRA, to respond to the challenge of being rightfully called a distinguished graduate of Philippine Heart Center. To our distinguished guests, colleagues, mentors, friends and family, 
Good morning and welcome to the 45th Commencement Exercises of the Philippine Heart Center. It is with great honor and pride to represent the graduating batch of 2022 today in what could be, for some of us, the last graduation of our lives. I speak in behalf of every resident, fellow, and subspecialty fellow who have dedicated the past three to four years in honing their skills and competencies in their chosen field in no less than this esteemed institution. The institution that taught us not only how to treat the patient, but why we treat the patient. Why we spend sleepless nights doing rounds, studying cases, titrating drips, completing charts and reports. Why we spend our weekends in the hospital rather than in the comfort of our own homes. Why we find ourselves away from friends and family to take care of strangers. And why, in the face of a global pandemic, we chose to stand and fight for our lives and the lives of others, even though it cost us a few of our own. It's not just because of an oath that we took as doctors or the prestige that comes with a title, but it's about being human. Having the empathy and compassion to lend an extra hand and go the extra mile for the sick patient, for the sick Filipino. And having trained under the collectively brilliant minds of this institution and seeing the growth and maturity of my colleagues over the years, I can proudly say that each and every one of us will step out of the Philippine Heart Center and into the new world as we know it as better versions of ourselves. With that, I congratulate the 88 individuals with me today. Some of us will continue further training. Some of us will start practice. Some might even take a much needed break or veer towards other opportunities. But as we go our separate ways, let us cherish all the meaningful experiences, memories, and relationships we have built while in training. Let us forever be grateful to our mentors who took us under their wings and trained us to be the best at our profession. Let us thank our patients for sharing themselves with us and giving us the best teacher, experience. And lastly, to our creator, to whom all of this would be impossible without. There is no better time than now to express our deepest gratitude and appreciation to all the significant people who helped us be who we are today. As we continue our own personal journey and face a much bigger thing called life. Again, my heartfelt congratulations to everyone Thank you, and God bless. Thank you, Dr. Kimbao. Now we've come to give special awards and recognition for our graduates. The most outstanding house staff and the most outstanding fellow in research. The nominees for the most outstanding house staff are the following. From the Pulmonary Medicine Division, Pediatric Pulmonary Section, Critical Care Medicine and Bronchoscopy, Dr. Arian Bea From Adult Cardiology Department Dr. Adrian Patrick Kalimag Dr. Rachel Ann Denila From Pulmonary Medicine Division in Adult Pulmonary Section Critical Care Medicine and Bronchoscopy Dr. Christine Yvette Huico from Pulmonary Medicine Division in Pediatric Pulmonary Section, Critical Care Medicine and Bronchoscopy, Dr. Edmund Anthony Sumayod. From Nuclear Medicine Division, Dr. Bettina Carmel Texan. And now the winner is Dr. Adrian Patrick P. Kaliman. Congratulations. Congratulations to our graduates of 2022 for successfully hurdling the rigors of training amidst the horrors of this pandemic. You must have asked yourself these questions at some point while training. Why again am I doing this? Will I be able to complete my training and be what I set out to be? Does what I am doing really matter? 
For someone who saw the world differently, Dr. Seuss once said, When something bad happens, you have three choices. You can either let it define you, let it destroy you, or you can let it strengthen you. As certainly as you are standing or sitting where you are right now, by the grace of God, through all the sacrifices that you, your parents, your teachers, and your patients have made, you have certainly conquered your fears, persevered in your journey, and tried your best to gain the most you can from all this. Your resilience and faith have strengthened your resolve to finish what you have started. But only to take the first step once more on the next adventure of this journey of lifelong learning. For as the cliché goes, the only constant thing is change. And that is the essence of life. You learn from the good and the bad and use this to help answer your questions, act on your dreams, and get what you work for. The world is tough, but always remember to give and forgive. Graduate also means measuring glass. Be the scale, the meter, the measuring glass by which others will aspire to be. Be the change. On behalf of your friendly staff at the Clinical Research Department, the Clinical Trials and Research Division, the Knowledge, Health, Information Management Division, and the Preventive Cardiology Division, we celebrate you. We salute you. Congratulations, dearest graduates of 2022. The nominees for Most Outstanding Research House Staff for 2022 are Dr. Adrian Patrick Kalimag from the Department of Adult Cardiology, Dr. Rachel Ann Danila from the Department of Adult Cardiology, Dr. Eileen V. Pena from the Division of Cardiovascular Radiological Sciences. Dr. Hazelyn Joyce Ramos from the Department of Adult Cardiology. And Dr. Romilly Toplano from the Division of Non-Invasive Cardiology. And the winner is Dr. Rachel Ann Danila from the Department of Adult Cardiology. Congratulations to our winners. As we near the end of this ceremonious event, the PHC Medical Alumni Society will now induct our new graduates as alumni members. Dr. Frederick Gabriel, the secretary of the PHC Mass, will lead the induction rites to our graduates. May I invite our graduates to raise our right hand as we recite our membership pledge. I state your name, pledge myself upon my honor to uphold the principles, bylaws, and rules of the Philippine Heart Center Medical Alumni Society, Incorporated. I shall promote the academic, cultural, and professional advancement of the members through scientific gatherings, researches, and cultural activities. I shall assist or cooperate in the implementation of policies, activities, and functions of the Philippine Heart Center as they pertain to the rights and privileges of the alumni. I shall promote camaraderie and fellowship among the members. And I shall disseminate information 
on matters of interest to the members. I solemnly swear that I will faithfully discharge to the best of my ability as my duties and responsibilities as member of the Philippine Heart Center Medical Alumni Society Incorporated. So help me God. And to formally close this graduation ceremony, may we call on Dr. Ranulfo Havilosa, the Department Manager for Training and Education. Pleasant good morning to all of you. Dr. Joel Abanilia, our Executive Director, the uh, Deputy Executive Directors present here, Dr. Ayuyao, the Training Officers, the uh, Heads of the Divisions, fellow graduates, fellow students, and doctors, colleagues, good morning. We had a wonderful morning, just concluded, and uh, this very momentous occasion, we are so proud to witness the celebration and the graduation of this brave and courageous trainees and fellows and residents after surviving the pandemic you made it through this horrifying months and years here you are Maybe for some of you, this is your fifth or sixth or seventh graduation since you started studying. And uh, we're so glad and so happy to see you, but really not to see you go. Some of you will be staying to join us in the academe, in the clinics, some of you will be practicing already. But this is not a goodbye. We will see each other again. Again, practice your profession honorably, with all dedication, with all your strength, with all your might. And bring back the glory to the Almighty, to your parents, to your spouses, to your teachers, to your trainers. You should acknowledge them also. So as we end these uh, ceremonies, I'd like to thank the organizing committees, the members of the Division of uh, Medical Training, the ETRS staff, and all the members, the Heart Center family who made this possible. So thank you very much and good morning to all of you. Thank you, Dr. Havilosa. In behalf of the Education, Training and Research Services, we thank you all for attending and congratulations again to the graduates.
There is this one road The journey's far out of sight Have you wondered where your road will lead you? Maybe to a bright day of sunshine Or a starry night in heaven Or it might be you're afraid to go Afraid to go but you've got to follow your road Oh, you'll never know Never know You've got to 